If you are in L.A. and you are trying to buy in Cleveland, do not, do not spend your money irresponsibly. Do not drop 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 thousand dollars until you have me review your deal. I see a lot of L.A. dudes looking at Cleveland with out-of-state eyes thinking you can't lose because it's so cheap. Nah, dog, that ain't the case. You can absolutely lose your butt in this market, and I'm here to prevent that. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today, today I'm making y'all some money, okay? I am making two of my clients a lot of money today. Andrew and Gary, two investors from L.A., the best investment either of you have ever made is purchasing this video because I am going to make you tens of thousands of thousands of dollars in the next five minutes, all right, dudes? You guys are interested in a property, 620 Eddy Road, okay? Fellas, this one is going to be going down a rabbit hole of pain and suffering. I know. You guys are in L.A., and you're like, dude, look how cheap it is. We can't possibly lose money on this. There's no way we couldn't get a parking spot in L.A. for this. Fellas, that is not the case. I see out-of-state investors like you guys. Uh, get taken advantage of every single day. And my goal, my mission with creating this, my brainchild, Holton Wise TV, is to prevent out-of-state investors like you guys from making bad financial choices, which, of course, you two already knew that. Why? Because you didn't spend a penny on this property. You spent your money here with me doing the due diligence, folks. Everybody knows you got to do the due diligence, right? You get an inspection inside the four walls, but what about outside the four walls? What about discussing the property's ability to actually be a business transaction for you guys? I see investors all the time make that mistake. But my dudes, Gary and Andrew, are not those dudes. And I had another client, dude from Texas. Love me, my Texas investors! Uh, he was interested in this property, and he did the same thing. He's like, you know what? This seems too good to be true. Let me throw up on my boy Jay Wise. Let me see what it's got going on. So uh, what I'm going to do now, boys, is I'm going to leave you with that footage and uh, tell you don't do this deal. Two, please. All right, folks, welcome back. Right now, this is where I earned my money, okay? This building right here. This is in Cleveland, Ohio. Super cheap market. 60, I'm oh, sorry, 620 Eddie Road, Cleveland. 110 grand. 13 days on the market. This is a four unit apartment building. Is this a good deal? Let's see what. The sellers have to say, fully occupied four-unit property in the growing Glenville neighborhood. Bargain-priced opportunity for a quad that has huge potential with some TLC. Property currently grosses $2,050 a month. $2,050 a month for a four-unit apartment building priced at only $110,000. It's got to be a can't miss, right? How can you possibly miss with it priced this well you can't get properties this cheap in texas no 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 this is a must mu uh, can't lose deal right must be a great opportunity how much money you can make oh my god wrong this is a dumpster fire of a deal this is a garbage deal this is trash you cannot buy this property from texas in Cleveland and make a reasonable amount of cash flow. As a matter of fact, the day you bought this property is the day you lose money, okay? $110,000 for a 
first thing we need to do. You can't look at it with your out-of-state Texas eyes and get blinded by the numbers, right? $2,050 or $500 in rent, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You can't get blinded by that. You got to pay attention to other stuff out there. First thing you got to pay attention to is the cops. 110 grand. Day you spend 110 grand is the day you lose money. All right, let's look at the cops. Now, this is a uh, urban area, densely populated, okay? When I run comps on densely populated urban areas, I do quarter mile radius for similar properties over the last six months. Usually get like 30, 40, 50, 50 comps, right? On my screen here, you can see I got 19. That ain't 19 over the last six months. No, that's 19 over the last five years, right? Only 19 properties have sold in a quarter mile of this property in the last five years because it's a freaking dead zone. It's blighted. It's the crummiest neighborhood you can get. You thinking about investing 110 k Well, let's see what the other multifamily hop properties sell for. 5500 8500 11920 14000 25000 30 Here's a quad. Those were all, uh, well, actually, everything before the 30 was a duplex, right? Well, what about some quads? One sold for 30000 Another sold for 55000 right? You see what I'm saying? The prices are so low. The day you buy it is the day you lose, right? You want to buy the cheapest house in a decent area, not the most expensive, right? If you go even deeper, right, even deeper here, you can pull up the Google Earth to see what you're dealing with, okay? Now. <coughs> you got to look at what's around the property, okay? Here's your house. What's right next to it? Vacant lot, 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 vacant, 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 whole bunch, right? They tore down all these. Vacant, 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 vacant. Vacant. Here's another one. 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 All right. Then you can go this way. We got more, right? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. All right? They're everywhere. Here's another one. Okay? They're all over the place. Now, this is not like an area where there's new development. No, no, no. These are 100 year old properties. All those vacant lots of properties that got to the point where they were so distressed, it would cost more money to fix them than they could actually be worth, right? This whole area, this is not an area that you want to do your first investment in Cleveland, right? You're in Texas. I understand that you're looking at the lowest prices, but this is not the type of neighborhood that's going to work for a Texas investor. No, you need to get something a little bit less risk, right? You're starting your real estate business, right? First of all, you're losing money right off the rip just because you're overpaying, right? You need to get that fourplex for like half of what they're offering it for to even have a chance. Secondly, dude, it's a low chance, right? Because the risk is too high. Who's going to manage this thing for you, right? My company, Holton Wise? No, nah, we ain't managing this. You're in the middle of an area where they're just tearing down houses, dude. There's nothing good happening here. And I can't staff my construction company uh, if I'm sending them to dangerous neighborhoods like this all the time, right? So this property is a dud. Uh, just because it's cheap doesn't mean it'll make you money, right? Some local folks, local folks who are invested in the neighborhood, invested in the business, can do sweat equity, have construction companies where they need to keep guys busy, able to get that sweat equity, all that jazz. They can make money on deals like this. Out-of-state people who got to hire property managers for everything can't. You can't even hire a quality property manager, right? My company, biggest in Cleveland for this type of investment, right? We won't manage it. It's too hard to staff our construction company, maintenance company, leasing agents uh, with a reasonable amount of turnover, right? It's just not worth it. Not to mention so many bad things happen when you're dealing with a tenant base that's willing to live in the most dangerous, roughest, highest crime ridden neighborhoods in the entire uh, Cleveland market or probably United States of America. Uh, that there's just going to be all kinds of just negative occurrences. It would be horrible because... Uh, you would then, because this is what investors do, they just try to blame the property manager for everything. Bro, you're buying a grenade. We ain't stepping on that grenade for you. <laughs> you step on the grenade your damn self, but you're smart enough to know you shouldn't step on the grenade. That's why you asked my opinion. And that, folks, is what I'm here for, right? So if you're from Texas, you're trying to invest in Cleveland, do not, do not 
spend $110,000 on a property until you get my take. This property, total dud, don't do the deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.